Hey everyone, this is Nick Robertson with Lilinus Kids bringing to you a musical called Do Not Be Afraid Parade. Following the characters Claire, Luke, Riley, Maddie, and David on their quest to be a part of their community's Christmas parade. And so as they're putting together the Christmas float, they're talking about what Christmas truly means. And they keep coming back to what the angel said, that phrase, do not be afraid. It's a fun, energetic, easy to learn musical, five or six songs, and we even include in there a Christmas favorite, Oh Come All You Faithful. I had a blast collaborating on this musical with Anna Lampy. It's sure to be a hit at your church, and we hope that you pick it up this season. The parade doesn't even start for 30 more minutes. Mom dropped us off even earlier than we have to be here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, there's Mrs. March. Well, if it isn't my favorite pair of Christmas parade marching siblings, 
Glad you guys are here. There's water and cookies over there at the table, so help yourselves. I have to go check on a float. Baby Jesus just got here, and turns out he's older than I remembered. Uh-oh. How much older? Four years. Does anyone have a baby I can borrow? Sorry, ma'am. Just gave away my last one. <laughs> hey, Luke. Nice sweater. Right? My grand and Dottie made it for me, and my mom told me I could open a Christmas present early if I wore it. I'm personally hoping for a new bike. Then next year, I won't have to walk in this thing. I'll be cruising right past you slowpokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go get cookies. Look, I see Maddie over there. She'll know what we're supposed to be doing. Hey, guys. Mrs. March told me to wait over here. She's going to be back in a few minutes. She was really worried about something involving a four-year-old baby Jesus. Yeah, she told us all about it. Oh, here she is. Hey, Mrs. March, did you get it figured out? Yes, it was pretty stressful there for a minute. But lucky for us, the four-year-old had a baby doll. That'll do. Was he right where the angels told you he would be? Don't tell me. You followed a star in the sky to find him. Good to see you've been paying attention in Sunday school, Luke. Okay, looks like everyone is here, except for... Hmm, has anyone seen Claire? Excuse me, excuse me, I'm here, everyone. The party can start now. <laughs> good to see you, Claire. You look really pretty. Thank you, Maddie. It is so good of you to notice. I was worried it wasn't sparkly enough. Uh, Claire, I really don't think you have to worry about that. You're right. It's perfect. My mom is going to get the best picture of me to put on our family Christmas email blast. You look beautiful. But now that everyone is here, I think this is a good opportunity to remind you all why our church participates in this parade every year. Of course. All the music and fancy outfits are just what people need to get in the Christmas spirit. No, I'm pretty sure it's because if our whole town has to deal with you for a night, Claire, they will definitely feel the need for Jesus to come save them. <laughs> No, but you're closer than you think. Does anyone else have any guesses? We are here to make sure as many people as possible get the message of the Christmas story. There are a lot of people who don't go to church and will be watching the parade. We want them to know why Jesus came for them, and maybe even come join us one Sunday morning. Exactly. Thank you, Maddie. After you get past all the costumes and floats and candy, this is a chance to share the love of Christ with our community. We want everyone to walk away today knowing the story. We're taking it to the streets. Yeah, we're bringing the street talk.
lot of people here, and I feel like they're all looking at me. Uh, no. They're all obviously here to look at me. <laughs> You're right, Claire. We forgot that the city puts on this whole parade just for you. Yeah, there are a lot of people here. I haven't even seen Mom and Dad yet. Aw, is the little baby getting stage fright? Hey, David, we've already got one baby. We don't need another one. Be nice, Luke. Everyone gets stage fright every now and then. Um, don't you mean street fright? <laughs> <laughs> Not me. I was born for this. I guess it just comes naturally. Mrs. Martz, what do you think? Mrs. Martz? Where'd she go? Um, she's over there. She's putting out a fire. Yes, she's worked very hard on this parade. I know there's been a lot of last-minute problems. No, I mean it. She's really putting out a fire. <laughs> what just happened? The Angel Float's engine overheated a teensy-weensy bit. No biggie. Do you think anyone noticed? No, nobody saw. They're all too busy being blinded by the sequins on Claire's outfit. <laughs> all right. Anyways, we were talking about how it kind of makes us nervous to walk with this many people staring at us. What do you think? Well, of course you're nervous. It's part of the Christmas story to be scared, after all. It is? Definitely. Does anyone know who I might be talking about? Oh, I know. Good. I was afraid for a minute you weren't going to know something. That would have been just awful. <laughs> Mary and Joseph must have been pretty scared, right? They sure were. The scripture tells us in Luke 1.29 that Mary was greatly troubled when the angel approached her. I mean, it makes sense. I think anyone would be scared. Can you imagine an angel dropping out of the sky to come talk to you? I think I would wet my pants. Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know that they were scared. However, in verse 30, it goes on to say, But the angel said to Mary, Do not be afraid. The great thing about Mary and Joseph is that they didn't let fear stop them from living out God's call on their lives. They went on their own parade to Bethlehem. One might even call it the Do Not Be Afraid Parade. We are all called to witness to others, and that includes today. I'm confused. How can God call me? Does he even get phone signal up there? Claire, you can rest assured knowing God can call you anytime he wants. So get ready. We can't let fear stop us. Remember what the angel said. Do not be afraid. Yeah, I eat fear for breakfast. <laughs> no, you don't, Riley. You eat French toast. Not too much syrup and a sprinkle of brown sugar. I know, David. It was... Never mind.
feet are really starting to hurt. What about you guys? I know. I just keep thinking of that new bike I'll get for wearing this itchy sweater. I'm having fun. Although I can't lie, I'm getting kind of worn out. Riley, you're such a slow poke. I can't believe you're letting your little brother beat you. Man, look at the energy on that little man. Oh, to be young again. You have to admire his spirit. Come on, guys. Where are the excited marchers I had an hour ago? There's just so far to go, Miss March. Plus, I already saw my mom take my picture, so I really don't need to look perky anymore. Claire, you do realize you're here to represent the joy and life-giving love of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, right? So maybe you should be a little perky. Ooh, Claire got in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie is right. Look at David. He's so excited to share Jesus with everyone around us. That sounds like a worthy cause to me. Don't you think the steps to Bethlehem were pretty tiring for Mary and Joseph? And even the wise men who traveled to the manger? I... I guess so. And don't you think it was worth it for them? Yeah, it definitely would have been worth it for the wise men. They got to be a part of the first Christmas story, with the angels singing and the stars shining bright, and all the world at peace for the newborn king. I can't even imagine. You know, I guess I never thought about it like that. I'm always so focused on the glitz and glamour of Christmas. But come to think about it, we wouldn't have any of that stuff without that first Christmas night. Wait, I'm sorry. Did you just say something meaningful? <laughs> Shh, I think I'm having some kind of moment here. This doesn't happen very often. Wow, Claire, I misjudged you. You know, maybe we should think about this parade like that. We know we shouldn't let fear stop us. It's still worth it today. Even though we are all tired, every step is worth it if it brings us or those around us closer to the king. That's right, Riley. I'm so proud of you all. Maybe as we walk, we should talk about that night at the manger. It will remind you why it's so important to never stop sharing. David, why don't you start? Well, I know that Mary and Joseph traveled a really long way. No cars, no planes, nothing. She was really close to having a baby. My mom told me she was right about to pop. Okay, anyone else want to pick up there? She gave birth in a stable and wrapped him in swaddling clothes because there was no room in the inn. Shepherds left their flocks in the night to find the newborn king. And suddenly, there was a great multitude of heavenly hosts singing, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth to those on who his favor rests. See guys, every step is worth it. Every single one.
It's been such a beautiful day to be a part of this parade, don't you think? Yeah, it has. I am so glad I signed up to walk. I really like seeing all these floats, too. It's a good visual to the Christmas story. Yeah, it's almost like watching a movie or something. Wait, what's on that float behind us? Those are the wise men, duh. What do they have in those boxes, though? Well, let's see. One brought chocolate, one brought peanut butter, and one brought those little coconut things that come in the candy boxes. You know, the kind you throw away? Really? <laughs> Luke, don't do that to Claire. She's special. Claire, they each brought gifts to Jesus. The gifts were gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Okay, you lost me after gold. The important thing is that they each brought their best gifts to meet their new king. If you think about it, we all should bring our best to serve him. But, but, I don't have any francs or pennies. What do I bring to Jesus? I'm sorry, pennies? Yeah, dude, she said francs and cents. You know, pennies and nickels and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have anything Jesus could use. Oh, Claire, of course you do. God equips us all with special talents and gifts. All he asks is that we use them to bring him glory. As long as you give your best, that's enough for Jesus. I think she's right. I don't think Jesus wants me to bring my clothes, or my tablet, or my hair bows, or the puppy my dad just got me, or the pony I got last year, or the car- Okay, okay, we get it. Sorry, I think he wants me to bring my confidence. And I think he wants me to bring my excitement. I think my best is my heart. I think I always need to give my thoughts to Jesus. What about you, Luke? Oh, I know. I'm going to ask for a drum set this year, like those guys in the marching bands have, and play really loud for Jesus. Babies love loud noises, right? Marching bands? Hey, I know a song for that. sad that this is almost over. This has been so much fun. Yeah. Oh, look! Mom and Dad are over there waiting for us. I know. I want to do it all over again, now that I know the right reasons to do it. Well, I feel much better that you at least know something now, Claire, and I mean that from the very bottom of my heart. <laughs> well, it is sad that we won't have another perfect Do Not Be Afraid parade until next year, but the fun really doesn't have to stop now. That's right. We will have refreshments waiting for each of you back at the church to thank you for your hard work. Well, that will be fun, but that's not really what I was talking about. You're right, Maddie. Luke, I think we should invite our neighbors to our Christmas Eve service. I think I'm going to tell all of my friends about what we have all learned here today, too. I have certainly learned more about the story. And all of my shopping buddies are going to be shocked when I tell them I had a moment. Maybe I can help them see it, too. 
Absolutely. I'm so proud of all of you and how far you have come today. And I don't just mean how far we walked. This has been a perfect Do Not Be Afraid Parade.